Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today I will be painting a snowy scape with a little house and some trees around it. You know, I do feel winter inspired. We did have snow a couple of days ago, so well, I wanted to paint snow. I will be using these watercolors of mine. This is the, I guess, earth set and also I'm using sky set. They are available. I'm not really sure if both of them are still available in my shop. Some, oh, if you want to find out a little bit more about that, you can check the link in the description box and just check them out in my shop. First, I've mixed some colors. I've mixed in a blue and a little bit of the dark brown and just privetted the entire paper and then started painting the, you know, the misty feel and that grayish tones of the winter. And afterwards, I will be adding some trees. The paint is still wet, so I am using a little bit more saturated paint and adding those trees. I did not draw the house, the sketch for the house. Right now, thinking about it, I'm not really sure why I did that, why I didn't draw it. So I was just wiggling it, adding the lines for the house. But I do advise you to draw in the house so you know just how to go around it with those trees. And as I said, I'm not really sure. I was just eager to start, I guess, paint and I forgot to sketch the house. And now I'm adding a little bit of the light brown in between those trees, adding maybe some different foliage, some different trees there and mixing those two paints directly on my paper because they're wet. They are mixing and softening one between each other, mixing those three. Also adding a little, I don't know, some road or something like that going to the house and a little bit more of the details. And I am using today, this is, I believe, Arsh that I cut from the large sheet and I just glue it onto MDF board and I am using a single sheet of paper. I found those Arsh papers. I guess I have them, those sheets, larger sheets for a while and I haven't used them because it's just easier to grab the block of paper and I did not use them. I was just cleaning up my studio and I found them and I thought to myself, well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut them and I'm going to use those sheets. They are a little bit cheaper when you buy them in larger sheets than when you're buying them in blocks. So if you're thinking about buying a very quality paper, just consider that. You can just cut them in any size you like and I guess it's practical. And Right now you can see when the paper is dry, I am just sketching in the house. I also did add a little bit of the splatters with just clean water to create a snowy feel. And for the house I'm using red. And you can see first I'm just painting in the entire house with the same color. And then adding a little bit more of the pigment here and there just to create some shadows and highlights on the house. I will also be using this uh, brown from the, this is I believe from the autumn set, just to add a little bit more of the texture and shadows and highlights on the house. Just be careful not to go over the windows. <laughs> adding a little bit more of the details to the to the road again using the same colors blue and that dark brown I used previously now the paper is completely dry so I'm using a quite small brush here you can use a larger brush I, I'm not really sure even that I'm I do like how this painting end up to be at the end you know it's just that road was kind of funky it was just, I, I don't know it was just I wasn't doing well the favor to this painting but you know I went with it I I had fun painting this so I wanted to share this video and you could have seen right now it was just I had to add a bit more of the 
color around the house because you know of course the well what i left for the house the the clear space clear paper wasn't really good enough so i did draw the house in a different shape than i left and i needed to add a little bit more of the pigment around it with a bit more paint around it so make sure you draw your house before you start to paint and now adding a couple of more trees that are near to us a little bit more of the visible a little bit more of the details to the windows just using some black and painting in the windows skipping in the central part leaving it for the window frames and I will leave this to dry. I didn't notice I left this, uh, the space between those two windows and the house white, so I did paint it on top with a little bit of the red in between those windows. So that's the reason why you can see two windows right now. And on the previous, I guess, part of the painting process, it was just all connected. Now adding a little bit more of the I guess I'm using some black and mixed in with red I used previously just to add a little bit more of the shadows and then some black for the windows. You know, maybe the, those people traveled away for holidays, so it's, I guess there is no light in the house. <laughs> And a little bit more of the paint again to that road. As I said, just it wasn't looking right. It's just somehow I'm not I wasn't happy with that. <laughs> a little bit more of the trees and details on the sides. And I'm using this time very, very small detail brush to add in those details and maybe some grass, weeds peeking through the snow and I will be using today this white paint this is I guess paint for you could have seen practically everything you can use it for everything it's not gouache it's not watercolors it's not acrylic it's just I guess paint that you can use on any surface to splatter in the snow because I wanted it to be quite visible in a peg and I'm using that white. It is quite opaque. So a little bit more white on top of the roof to make it look like there is some snow there accumulated and some snow on my trees also. I did splatter the snow but I did want it to also add on the trees a little bit more of those humps of snow <laughs> and just picking up that same white that I showed you and adding it a little bit on top of my trees and you can see I'm not really minding and being super careful with that so it just stays to remove the tape and we are done so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and you liked it if you did like it please please hit the like button share it and comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel there are a lot of lot of tutorials there also winter tutorials if you want to paint in winter inspired paintings and well i guess thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye